Hello, hello, hello. It has been a an eternity since I've seen you guys and I look so ridiculous with just my eye primer on. That is Miss Chaos. She is saying hello. And guys, we are changing the channel name again. I know it's been like, I don't know, a month, two months. I've been away for a while. I've been working two jobs. Also have some stuff going on. So we're going to change the name of this channel once again, and hopefully for the last time, we're going to change the channel to mental health and makeup. And um, we're going to be open and candid about mental health problems, things that face people with mental health problems. I myself suffer from anxiety and depression. Um, and I guess 80 D or ADHD or, or whatever. I wasn't really diagnosed with that until way, way later in life. And I'm not sure about the diagnosis, but you know, who was ever sure about anything? So what we're going to do on this channel is just do makeup and talk about mental health stuff. Current, recent, um, things with me, things that are going on with my mental health, asking um, about y'all's mental health. You know, everybody is going through something. I truly believe that. So that's what we're going to do. And on today's little video, we are going to be showcasing um, Sheen. You guys know how much of a fan of Sheen I am. This is not sponsored. I wish. Call me <laughs> Sheen. Um, so the earrings are from Sheen. Um, I ordered this butterfly cuff for my ears and it is um, the wrong ear because it was supposed to go over here. That's why you read things. Chaos, it's okay, honey. That's why you read things. I should have read things and figured out that the cuff goes on this side because this side's a side with no hair. You see what I'm saying? See what I'm saying? Okay. So, also, this nose ring. This was a dollar. This was, these were a dollar fifty. I get so many compliments on these earrings. I love them. Um, this shirt was like 11 bucks. It's an asymmetrical little top dealy bomber. And the makeup that we got, let's talk about that because, you know, that's half of it mental health and makeup. This is the makeup part. Okay. All right. Chaos is not happy that I am speaking out loud. She's like, how dare you? How dare you? This is my house and I'm trying to be a cat. Okay, so I love this so much. I bought two. So I talked about this um, in a recent video. By the way, guys, I do not know why the camera is fuzzy over here. I can't figure it out. I've worked on it. I can't figure it out. And by the way, if you stick around, I'm going to tell you why I've been absent so long. So anyway, um, this is called the Brows on Demand 2-in-1 Brow Pencil. And this thing is freaking fabulous. So the side with the little stripe is your pencil. And it is a microfine pencil. I think it's better than the Anastasia pencil. And then this side, and this side is magic. So this is in the color taupe, and I was not sure about taupe because sometimes taupe looks kind of reddish on me, um, but this is freaking fabulous. It gives the finest hair-like detail. It's light but it's pigmented. It's fantastic. So I got two of these. This is my repurchased item that um, I highly suggest. It's like $2.75. I don't know how they do it. I don't really want to know, you know, maybe it's one of those things I really don't want to know, but for us broke bitches, y'all in the, still in the broke bitches club, I'm working the two jobs. Talk about broke bitches. Just saying. Okay. So I got to put this to the side. Then we got 
their new Skinfluencer Full Coverage Foundation Balm. This is like their little uh, dupe of um, the KVD Good Apple. That's why I knew I had to try it. So there we go. And then, of course, we got the Be Bold Hue. No, Be Bold Be Hue. So the palette looks like this, and I've been using it the last several days. I know I'm coming in on the last part of Pride Month, but I did um, tons of makeup um, rainbows in the last two weeks. I took a picture of some of them. I can drop some of them here. Um, I just had a lot of fun making different rainbows with different palettes. And we'll, we'll do a little bit of a, um, episode about that. Okay. So I got the Be Bold Be Hue Highlighter Powder and look at it. It's so pretty with the rainbow. Okay. Now watch. Oh, how cool is that? It's the whole rainbow in a swoop. And then around the rainbow is just a champagne. It's beautiful. So we love this highlighter. We're just not sure how to um, apply it yet. So we'll get there. We'll get there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And let's swatchy the palette. In order for you to see, I have to be like this. And I feel as crazy as I am. Okay, BTW, everybody used to call me Crazy Amanda. And when I didn't want to be Crazy Amanda anymore, I tried to have everybody start calling me Mandy. Nobody was going for it. Nobody went for that. Oh, well. Okay, so you've seen the palette swatched and the highlighter swatched. And we will break into the foundation here soon. Um, I got two more things. This, this is a gold version of this. And that was a dollar. And these are butterfly earrings. The butterflies in the front and then the chain hangs down behind it. And those were like a buck or two, something like that. Oh no. And I bent my arm and of course it got all the shimmer everywhere. So all in all from Sheen, I think I spent um, 20 something dollars. This shirt was from the last haul. I don't know if you guys remember the last haul. But this shirt was from there, and the earrings just happened to be a perfect match. So, I've been in the deepest, darkest depression uh, for a couple of weeks. Um, I kind of have been on autopilot. I am working two jobs. Um, that is the original reason that I didn't, you know, get on film um, once a week for the last month and something is because I have been working two jobs about like 50 something hours a week. I've never done that in my whole life. Um, it's such a blessing that I am well enough, uh, physically to be able to handle that. Um, the depression comes from something else. Um, from, for a long time there have been, well, I kept telling you guys I had, um, kind of like a family emergency type situation. Um, it's not exactly, well, yeah, it is exactly that. Um, someone is telling lies about me. Um, and it's really awful. And, um, 
my whole family is going through it. My children specifically who don't want to uh, be involved in any of this. And it's just been, it has been an incredibly difficult time. Um, a long, long time ago when I thought I was truly crazy and I was very, very sick, um, a, another crazy person <laughs> who was very sick um, and on the same type of substances I was gave me this bracelet. It says, keep fucking going. Um, this was after the uh, suicide of our dear friend Monte. Rest in peace, Monte. We love you. Um, <clears throat> so I wear this. I'm wearing it every day, even if I'm wearing gold jewelry, which is against, like, you know, my principles. I literally wear it every day, and sometimes I pull it off and look at it and giggle a little bit and just keep going. So that is where I'm at with uh, my mental health. I've been gone for a while. I'm so sorry about that. Let's make a killer rainbow look with this beautiful palette. Maybe let's go backwards. Let's try something. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> um, I think, uh, one of the main issues with, um, mental health awareness is that in order to have that, um, the awareness, people have to tell on themselves about things that our society finds embarrassing. And the reason why my eyes are stained, guys, and I, um, the only thing that I have on my eyes is the Ace uh, Beauté um, eyeshadow amp amplifying base. Um, for, for there to be awareness, people have to tell on themselves in very, and they have to be very vulnerable. And so that is a difficult thing. And then people will use that against you. Like, oh, see, I knew she was crazy. And, um, that's painful, but it definitely happens. And Something that people really love to do when they find out you have a mental illness is I don't know what I was talking about because that happens to me a lot. I have a hard time concentrating on more than one thing. My mind like jumps around all over the place. Um I also use medical marijuana, so my, uh, my bulb isn't always the brightest, if that makes any sense. Um, I will say that, oh, I know exactly what I was going to say. Um, they will use your mental health against you in the way that they are hoping to see you have a mental breakdown so that they can gain something. Perhaps it's, um, like in Britney Spears case, it was, Let's show the world that she's nuts so that we can get control of her money, which hopefully um, everybody everybody has watched about Brittany and you're all informed um, what they did to Brittany, and that is textbook, because I bet you what she has is not much more serious than depression, anxiety, like small little things, not sis is crazy. No, no, no. 
That's exploitation. <laughs> well, hello. That's exploitation. Okay. We are going to cut the crease. So, yeah, um, somebody is currently trying to use um, a lot of lies against me. And we have yet to go in front of the judge because there keep being things continued. And their lawyer hasn't been giving my lawyer the information that we need to be able to go into uh, the hearing. So it is really frustrating. And so far, I have not been able to uh, present my side of things at all. And it's really hard waiting, um, especially with what's at stake. So, um, me and my kids are just going through it right now. And the two jobs thing is very difficult for me as well. I am trying to adjust and as I continue to adjust, I'll be able to film more often. Um, but I need the money for the two jobs. And, um, you know, another thing that happened with my mental illness is I, I'm always looking, um, for something that I can do that's not like, uh, work a billion hours a week because I have um, health problems as well as mental health problems. So I'm always looking for something that I am naturally gifted at that I could do from home or like uh, on the computer or whatever. Not that I have a computer, but I would get one if I needed one for that. But anyway, um, it's, it's always on my mind. Oh, hey, how could I use my skills to be able to work from home because I have all these health issues, right? So when the pandemic hit and I lost my job, I thought, well, I could try this YouTube thing, this YouTube gig. Um, I'm a makeup artist. I was trained by Lancome. Um, new makeup is definitely 1000% different than old makeup. Hence the cut crease I just did. <laughs> we didn't used to do that. <laughs> so it's been, um, an interesting ride finding out all the different, uh, makeup that has, you know, trends and everything that have evolved over time. Um, <clears throat> Speaking of trends, we're about to stamp color on, and I've talked about this on my channel. Um, instead of uh, blending a lot, stamping color is literally just stamping color in because I already laid down... The foundation, not actual foundation, but the base of this, I've already laid that down. I just want to clean it up after the cut crease so that it looks its best. Underneath, I think. 
going to do that stamping. I often stamp color underneath the lashes. Notice how pigmented and easy these colors lay down. Now, I'm not sure about blending because I've done mostly stamping because I think that that's the best way to get a really punchy look. I like punchy. It's fun. This blue, this beautiful blue, is one of my favorite colors of blue. I did a blue and purple look earlier today. It was killer. And so we have our rainbow number one. Don't know what we're gonna do on the cut crease yet. It'll be fun, don't worry. Put this purple in. Do, 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 do. So, that's what's been going on with me. What's been going on with y'all? I wonder if we would be able to, in the cut crease, do I feel like it needs to be lime green because of, but that one's not punchy enough. Let's consult the lovely bag full of uh, special shapes. There she is. She's pretty. She's lime green. She's from Moira, which is also extremely affordable, fan freaking tastic makeup. I love the affordable brands, guys. I really do. This She Glam Rainbow right now. Hello. I think this palette was like eleven dollars, and they made it more expensive so that they could donate to charity. So We're actually going to go all the way up to the line on this lime green shade. Are you guys seeing the vision? Yay! And we're back! We're back! Let's see, I look, I think it looks freaking fantastic. Um, I used my Norvina. Um, yellow chroma stick in the waterline. I absolutely love that formula. My fave. I used um, my brow uh, utensil thing. <laughs> I used both sides. I used the pencil side and the little hair-like side. I'm telling you, best brow product brow product of the year, maybe the century, you need it. Um, <clears throat> so we're going to put some primer on. This is the Instant Smooth from Clarins. We put our Clarins Instant Smooth. That is so expensive, but it is so good. It's, I think, better than the Tarte, um, the little one in the, the jar. I don't know what that, that one's called. I can't remember. Okay. So this is the Skinfluencer um, this is the Skinfluencer foundation. How to use. It says gently rub the surface of foundation balm with fingertips in a circular motion to emulsify and activate the moisture in the foundation. Use a foundation brush to dip directly into the foundation balm and apply evenly onto the skin. For high coverage, apply additional layers. Okay, so we have to swirl it. I did not know that and I already used it once and I did not swirl it. <laughs> so let's see what happens when you swirl it. First, it comes in this 
lovely little sash velvet bag thing. I really wish I understood why that part of the camera is fuzzy. See, I'm fuzzy over here. It's weird. Anyway, this is luxurious. This feels like luxury. And this was a $12 foundation. I love the packaging. It's like a, it's like a plastic that is heavy, almost feels like glass. And then it's got this round top. It did have a seal on it. And of course I broke that. So I got the color, what is this color? Shell. And it might match, <laughs> but I keep getting tanner and tanner and tanner. Ooh, yeah. Oh my goodness. When you put your finger in there, look at how creamy. I mean, it's a lot. I'm going to put it on the brush from my finger because I don't want to waste it. Okay. Foundation on brush, primer on skin. We're ready to go. Wow. 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 Like wasn't even all that much on there. That is crazy. Look at how much coverage. Bronzer. Hmm. I gotta say, it's much more comfortable on the skin than the good apple. The good apple felt more... Uh, greasy, really, than this one feels. This one feels very light, light, light weight. I gotta say, I'm not hating it. And it really did make a difference um, to do what it said uh, with your finger and swirl around. Um, that definitely made it very creamy. Super fancy Charlotte Tilbury, um, powder. So, um, <clears throat> my new channel, we're going to not spend very much on makeup, but I'm still going to showcase a few new things but mostly we're going to be we're gonna do tutorials and like favorites lists and hopefully at some point we'll talk about new makeup This brush is a little bit wet because of because I just washed them, but that actually seems to be working in my favor and the powder looks lovely. Wow. Alrighty then. Um we're going to bronze with, it's bronze with LYS today. LYS. We're gonna swoop. Swoop that sun in, cause that's how sun hits my face. Swoop. Just doing like the Nike swoop here. And don't worry that it's a crazy looking difference because 
my skin everywhere is tan. So it's okay that the bronzer looks dramatic because I need a little drama. Okay. Speaking of blush, we will be using our favorite that we have hit pan on and we don't care. We're just going to keep working on him. Patrick Ta. She's adorable. It's a beautiful peachy orange gorgeous glowing already highlighted blush. And you see how beautiful it looks. And I actually stamp this blush in and this is a an angled brush per perfect for doing that and I'm into that sun-kissed style I'm loving this look um, I was gonna do some graphic um, art on the eyes but I think I'm just gonna keep it the way it is because it's really pretty um, I, so far, am loving this skin fluencer. So we'll see. We'll just keep keep on keeping on with that. Um, oh, yes. Highlighter. Yes, because we got this rainbow highlighter. So, I want to see if we can do the whole shebangy. And we can! it's missing the top the red part oh my gosh it let me do a whole rain wow okay so here's my question why aren't you using she glam makeup there are no excuses so, and then we'll put this on the tip of the nose. And then we'll put a little bit above the brow. That is amazeballs. I'll probably do a little bit. Let's, let's do this. So this is my favorite kind of highlight. This is like Jeffree Star's um, Extreme Frost Formula. It's chunky glittery, and we love that. Look at how pretty. And I think this highlighter was $5, where Jeffree's are like 50 I'm just saying, like, this is nice stuff. Now, I still love Jeffree Star, and I'm still going to be getting Jeffree Star stuff. I missed the last palette, guys, and I'm going to get it, and you will see it here on my channel. I just don't know when, um, but I have all the other ones, so I'm definitely going to get that one, too. Okay, so... Here's another thing we're not going to do. We're not going to make fun of mental health issues. Except for if I'm goofing on myself, maybe. <laughs> but even if I'm goofing on myself, I should be kind. We got uh, the old standby mannequin here. From Jeffree Star. When I do really bold eyes, we do nude lips. I overlined just a little bit. We're going to put on 
our old standby birthday suit. Liquid lipstick from Jeffree Star. And there she is, guys. Okay, so I'm going to put on some lashes. Um, we'll have final thoughts. I don't know how long this video is going to end up being. I'm awfully long-winded, but I love you guys, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, bye. Okay, so we're back, and I've got these lashes. These lashes got here a half an hour before I did. Just want to let you know, my lashes, they, they came here first. They were here first. Y'all, I love this rainbow look. I love that I'm making a video. I'm so excited. Um, I'm going to let you guys know very soon about this She Glam um, skin fluencer. I think I'm going to do some TikToks about it. I have a new phone. I hadn't even downloaded TikTok because I took the same break from TikTok and from the YouTube channel because I just want to like have a rebirth, if you will, of the channel talking about things that I think are super important. Um, of course, I think mental health and talking about mental health is extremely important. Um, and since I have <laughs> some mental health struggles of my own, I'm going to share those along the way. We can laugh a lot. We can do some makeup and enjoy ourselves. So, <laughs> and I'm dropping mirrors. I want you guys, if you've made it this far in the video, I want you guys to guess how many of my uh, 30 Jeffree Star mirrors are currently broken. So, that's, that's the number. I want the number down in the comments. How many of my 30 Jeffree Star mirrors do you guys think are broken? And until we meet again... Keep fucking going. Keep fucking going. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.